Okay everyone, so in this tutorial, we're gonna learn how we can create an NFT on OpenSea uh, in 2022, all right? So first, just go to OpenSea.io, make sure to go to the correct uh, website. So we have OpenSea.io. I will also leave a link in the description if you want to go that way. So right here we have OpenSea.io, here we can create uh, NFTs and sell them. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is just uh, connect our wallet. So if we go up to the top right corner and click on this profile icon, we get this uh, page, connect your wallet. So connect with one of our available wallet providers or create a new one, all right? So you have uh, different options. You have MetaMask, Coinbase Wallet, Wallet Connect, Fortmatic, and so on, all right? So in this tutorial, we're gonna use the popular one it's metamask but if you have uh, something else just use that one so first just go and connect your wallet so in my case i'm going to use metamask i'm just going to click on metamask and if you don't have metamask you first need to go and install it as a chrome uh, application and after that you need to log in to your uh, metamask and if you haven't done this already, you need to go and do that. Just go and install the app and create a new wallet like you normally do. And to get you in the right direction, you just go to metamask.io. All right. And here you can just click on download, install Metamask for Chrome. You have Chrome, iOS or Android. So in this case, you're going to use Chrome. So you need to just install MetaMask for Chrome and you need to set up a wallet. And after that, you can just go back to OpenSea and follow the steps. All right. So I'm just going to go to my uh, MetaMask application. And I'm going to go and sign in and just click on unlock. Okay, so like that, now we have connected our wallet. And now we're going to go and create a collection first. Okay, so to create a collection, we want to go up to your profile image and go down to collections. And after that, we're going to go and click on create a collection. And you may be prompted to sign. Uh, I'm using Ledger Nano X, so I will sign in my Ledger Nano X hardware wallet. But uh, use whatever you have. After that, you should come to this one, create a collection. So first we have logo image uh, this image will also be used for navigation they have the recommended size 350 times 350 pixels is recommended all right so just click on this one in my case i'm gonna use this one and just click on open all right so we have our logo image after that we have feature image so this image will be used for featuring your collection on the home page category page or other promotional areas of OpenSea. The recommended size is 600 times 400. All right. So I'm just going to click on this one and I'm going to choose this one. Let's click on open. All right. So now we have logo and featured image in place. After that, we have banner image. So this image will appear at the top of your collection page. Avoid uh, including too much text in this banner image as the dimension change on different devices. The recommended size for this one is 1400 times 400. So just click on this one and I'm going to choose this image like that. And after that we have name. So name your collection. like that and we can see that this name is available after that we have url now you can customize your url on OpenSea. Uh, must only contain lowercase letters numbers and hyphens so after uh, this url you can add a custom uh, name so i'm just gonna add Something like that. And we see that this URL is valid. All right. 
After that, we have description. So you can uh, describe your collection up to thousand characters. All right. So just uh, add a nice description. And after that, we have category. Adding a category will help uh, make your item discoverable on OpenSea. So just click on add category and choose the one that suits your uh, collection the best. I'm just going to choose art. And after that, we have links. So here you can add uh, your uh, website link, uh, Discord links, uh, Instagram links, uh, Medium links and t.me links. All right. So if you have uh, one of these, just uh, include them right here. We have creator earnings. Uh, collect a fee when a user resells an item you have originally created. All right. So this is deducted from the final sale and paid monthly to a payout address of your choosing. So you have percentage fee. So let's say I want to have 0.5%. And you can also learn more about it right here. After that, you need to add a payout wallet address. So I'm just going to add a Ethereum uh, wallet address. Uh, after that, we have a blockchain. Uh, we're going to choose uh, Polygon because uh, this one is going to be uh, less expensive. And after that, we have payment tokens. Uh, these tokens can be used to buy and sell your items. So we're going to choose this one, ETH Polygon. And also you can click on this drop the menu to choose uh, these as well. Uh, these tokens can be used to buy and sell your items. So if you want to have more than uh, only Polygon, you can choose one of these as well. And after that, we have display theme. Uh, you can choose uh, the themes. We have padded, contained and covered. You can see the examples right here. I'm going to choose covered. And if you have explicit and sensitive content, uh, set this collection as explicit and sensitive content. You can get more information right here. And then you need to check this one. In my case, I don't have this one. After that, we're going to go and click on create. And we get this message created. And now we can see our new collection here at OpenSea. All right, so now we're going to go and create our first NFT. So to do that, we're going to go up right here and click on add item in the top right corner. And now we get this page, create new item. So here you can add an image, video, audio or 3D model. You have a file type supported right here. And the max size is 100 megabyte. Okay. So in my case, I'm going to add a YouTube thumbnail. I'm just going to click right here and I'm going to locate a YouTube thumbnail. So let's say I want to have this one. I'm just going to go and click on open. And now we have my NFT right here. Now we're going to name this to whatever you like. All right, and after that, we have external link. So OpenSea will include a link to this URL on this item's detail page so that users can click to learn more about it. You are welcome to link to your own website with more details. So if you have a website with more details about your NFT, make sure to include it right here. And after that, you should add a good description for your NFT. And this is just an example uh, NFT for this tutorial. So I'm just going to add a short description. After that, we have collection. Uh, choose the right collection. I'm going to choose the one that we just created. After that, we have properties. So textual traits that show up as rectangles. All right. So here you're going to describe your NFT. You're going to add properties. So you're just going to go and click on plus. All right, so now we got add properties. So properties show up underneath uh, your item are clickable and can be filtered in your collection sidebar. All right, so just describe uh, 
uh, your NFT as good as you can. Uh, so you can add like gender, male, and after that you can add more. Just yes, click on add more, and now we can add maybe color, and we can add like purple, and so on. So just add all the properties you want to add to your NFT, and after that just click on save like so. So now you can see your properties right here. And after that we have levels. So you have numerical traits that show as a progress bar. So you can just click on plus sign and here you can add a name and value. This is up to you uh, how you want to use this, okay? And same thing with stats. You have the same thing, name and value. And after that you have unlockable content. Include unlockable content uh, that can only be revealed by the owner of this item. So you can check this one and here you can add like access key, code to redeem, link to a file, etc. Alright, I'm not going to use this one. And after that you have explicit and sensitive content. In my case I don't have this, so I'm going to leave this unchecked. And after that we have supply, the number of items that can be minted, uh, no gas cost for you. So in my case I'm going to choose one of these uh, NFT. Alright, and the blockchain we're going to choose Polygon because uh, otherwise we need to pay a, a high gas fee. Uh, freeze metadata. Freezing your metadata will allow you to permanently lock and store all of these items content and decentralized file storage. Uh, to freeze your metadata, you must create your item first. All right, so when you are satisfied with everything, you're just gonna go and click on this one, create. Okay, so you created this uh, project and now you can choose to share this one if you like. You can just copy the link and share with other people. I'm just going to go and click on X like that. And now you can see the information about your new NFT. So you have description, you have properties, you have about. So about your NFT, you have some details. Uh, you have... Uh, event minted one minute ago and they can also view the full collection so now you have the option to sell this nft so to do that just go and click on sell right here and now you can choose uh, the price so i'm just going to choose 0 0.003 uh, you need to have at least uh, five dollars worth of price and after that, we're going to choose duration. I'm going to choose seven days. You have more options if you like. A reserve for a specific buyer. I'm not going to do that. We have fees. You can see service fee and the creative fee. This is the one that we set uh, earlier. So 0.5%. And uh, that's it. We're just going to go and click on complete uh, listing. Uh, now you need to go and sign. Uh, we're gonna go and click on sign and now you need to sign this in your wallet I'm just gonna go and click on sign and this is not gonna cost me anything we're gonna go to my ledger nano x and just sign this uh, like so and that's it your nft is listed now you can go and share this one so you can sell this nft and you can also go to your uh, collection and have a look. My collections, click right here. And here you see that you have one item uh, and we can see right here uh, the information. If I go into this one and this one is available and you can buy this one, all right? And you can just go down and you can see if you got some offers and all the item activity, all right? So if I go to this one, share, Copy link and open up this in another browser and paste it. We can now see that we can buy now or make an offer. We can buy with card. All right. So this is how we can uh, create an NFT 
and also how you can sell it on OpenSea in 2022. So comment below if this uh, worked out for you. Also subscribe for more of these tutorials. Have an awesome day. Take care and bye.